a summer long ago a little seed was sown by a farmer with no shade the hourglass of time he watched it slowly climb while he began to fade and we Welcome, I'm Michael Scott and this is Seniors in Action. It's really good to have you here. I hope you'll uh, join us and subscribe to this channel and like the videos and uh, send us a lot of comments about these videos. Uh, send us comments about videos you'd like to see in the future and uh, send us pictures as well. I'd like to see pictures of you in action that we can post on the videos and post on the Facebook page and inspire other uh, seniors to be seniors in action. All right, let me tell you a little bit about uh, this channel. This is what uh, this uh, video is uh, intended to do. It's just an introduction to uh, uh, the Seniors in Action channel. So I'm going to talk about the purposes real quick. Uh, one of the purposes is to educate you about uh, things that are essential to uh, senior living. Uh, unfortunately, they're things that uh, we haven't had much exposure to. And let's face it, we've had a lot of exposure to a lot of things in life, but uh, sometimes we don't see a lot of the things that we're going to talk about. Um, we truly are at the best times of our life, and uh, so as we educate each other, and uh, I, I produce videos that educate you, we'll be talking about a variety of subjects, and uh, some of these subjects will be um, things like uh, taxes, estate taxes, uh, income taxes, do you realize this year that we have a brand new in tax form for income tax form for seniors called the 1040 SR? We're going to have a video on that in the coming weeks so that uh, to introduce you to the 1040 SR and uh, talk to you about exactly who can use that schedule and what it's about. We're also going to talk about uh, essential things uh, education wise for, uh, like I mentioned, estate taxes. Uh, we'll talk about how to uh, administer an estate, how to be an executor of an estate, and what are the pitfalls there, what are some of the things you, to, you have to do, concerning especially estate taxes, fiduciary taxes, and the returns that have to be filed when you uh, are an administrator of an estate. We'll also talk about um, uh, subjects like conservatorships, and uh, you know, conservatorships you don't hear a lot about, and uh, and you may not hear a lot about a conservatorship your whole life, but uh, I've been appointed court, courted, I've been a court appointed conservator for three different older women, and uh, you need to know what happens when the conservator is appointed and uh, what the uh, what the powers of that conservator are. Guardianships are also important. Uh, sometimes uh, older men and women uh, are given guardianships. Sometimes they're family members, sometimes they're not. And uh, uh, having information about that, knowledge about that would be, uh, would be very good. Now, I meant to talk about all the fun activities we're gonna have first, but then I got into the uh, more essential activities. So I'm gonna cover the fun activities here in a few minutes. But uh, for right now, uh, there are some health issues that we'll talk about. Uh, uh, unfortunately, as seniors, um, we, uh, we, a lot of us have diabetes, a lot of us have sleep apnea, a lot of us need hearing aids, a lot of us need glasses and maybe LASIK surgery or something like that. And so we'll talk about uh, health problems like that as well. And um, some of us, uh, hopefully, um, some of us, unfortunately, some of us have Alzheimer's, some of us are bedridden and stuff. But uh, uh, we'll have talk about subjects like that that are essential to know about. And uh, you might end up uh, being a caregiver for somebody, a uh, father or mother or brother or sister that uh, has dementia. And we can talk about a little bit about that. Um, so uh, there are some, like I say, some issues that aren't very pleasant that uh, need we need to learn about, but uh, there are also some fun issues. And so let's talk about those things that are a little bit more more fun and uh, they involve things like uh, not so much learning but uh, at least being active and making us active seniors um, things like uh, 
you know, travel, going on a cruise, flying somewhere and visiting another country, or going on a bicycle ride <clears throat> with a group of people. Uh, travel is a good way to stay active. And when I say active, it doesn't have to be hard physical exercise. It can, like travel, I mean, it can be going to a quilting group and enjoying, uh, enjoying a quilting group. You know, it's, uh, as we keep our bodies active, we also keep our minds active. I uh, read an article the other day about Alzheimer's, and it said one of the biggest ways to prevent or forestall Alzheimer's was through exercise. And it said the number one exercise was dance. So, so some of the things we can do is go dancing. We can go to the senior center and dance, or we can go, uh, you know, just to a, a regular, uh, find a dance floor and uh, and just enjoy dancing. Uh, great way to great way to stay in shape. All right, other ways that we can stay in shape. We can go to a yoga class. We go to uh, you know exercise with weights. Uh, we can run on a treadmill or walk on a treadmill. Uh, Walking is a great way, if, whether it's on a treadmill or whether it's around your city neighborhood or whether it's out in the country, walking is a great way to stay in shape. Hiking is a great way to stay in shape. Uh, doing a four or five mile hike and uh, all you need really is a small backpack with some water and some treats and you're good to go. And a friend, of course. I mean, it's always better if you do it with a friend. If uh, you want to be more rigorous, certainly backpacking is a good way to uh, to stay in shape and you can see some of the most beautiful scenery that uh, uh, that you've never seen and that most people don't get an opportunity to see as you're backpacking around especially around America we've got some beautiful country in America fishing fly fishing is a great way to uh, uh, great hobby uh, doesn't cost a lot to get into I'm a certified fly fishing guide and uh, I can at least tell you how to rig up and get get started in fly fishing I'm not a great fly fisherman, but I enjoy it. Uh, things like uh, bicycle riding and spin classes and uh, classes at uh, your local exercise place or your local YMCA. Uh, any place that you can uh, take advantage of uh, exercise, even parking out further in a parking lot and walking into the store is, uh, is good exercise. So, the point is, is to keep active, to keep active, keep your mind active, and that's, uh, that is certainly the second uh, purpose of this channel, is to keep yourself active. And to, uh, as this channel is, uh, as, as a YouTube channel, uh, it's our purpose to encourage you to be active, encourage you to take part in service, to be a caregiver, and uh, just to be doing things. Uh, get out of the house and actually get out and do things, help people, uh, serve people, and uh, you'll be you'll much be much be much better off for it. Now, as far as I am concerned, uh, I'm not uh, qualified to uh, produce a video on all of these things. In some cases, I'm going to have to get an expert that will help me. I will produce the videos, but uh, they're going to have to help with the video. I am qualified, though, to talk about most of the tax areas, certainly backpacking. Uh, bowling is a great exercise, and I've, got, I've been two bowling leagues, and I've bowled all my life almost, so it's a lifelong, uh, a lifelong exercise that you can all do. We have a, a lady 93 years old in our bowling league that gets out there and bowls, and she does a great job. So uh, I can teach you about some of those things, uh, and uh, certainly Social Security, Medicare, if we talk about those things. Uh, I am, I'm qualified to talk about that, uh, uh, just from my back, back, background of being a CPA for uh, over 45 years, and and that uh, that's in business, and it's also having my own tax practice for uh, probably 16 or 17 of those years. So, uh, but like I say, I mean there there will be we there will be a need for experts to come in and. Uh, like hearing aids, I, I wear hearing aids, but I uh, I can't talk about them that uh, that much. I don't know that much about them. Uh, certainly, uh, if we get into diabetes, we might need somebody to talk about diabetes and the right diet for diabetes and uh, how you can um, assist in helping yourself with diabetes. Uh, 
it's going to be fun producing these videos. It's going to be fun for me, and hopefully it's fun for you. And uh, like I say, I encourage you to help by uh, giving us topics for videos, uh, uh, sending in pictures that we can use uh, of you in action. And um, so it's good to have you here. It's uh, good to be doing this, and uh, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, to like our videos, and to keep active, be a senior in action. And uh, join us in uh, the next week, and we'll have, uh, we'll have a video coming up. Thank you very much. The hourglass of time He watched it slowly climb